to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys We are getting ready to uh get out of this truck stop it's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now and we got 20 miles to go and uh, look at this four-wheeler right eh? he just does not want me to be ahead of him eh? <laughs> he wants to cut in front of me baby. oh well I gotta get out of here and uh, we got uh, 20 miles to go to my delivery place and uh, he just got right in front of me. He doesn't have no patience. Maybe you ought to teach that boy that either he's going to have patience or he's going to become a patient. <laughs> Anyways, I got to go over to my delivery place up here in uh, Illinois, Morrison, Illinois. Turn right on Lincoln Way, US 30. Yeah, we got to go to Clinton here. Uh, we had a fantastic meeting with our friends here last night slash youtubers we went over there to Applebee's and uh, had a bite to eat but that didn't work so good I got sick I don't know what I ate but I got sick from that Continue food I think for 3.3 miles there in the middle of the night I woke up and everything came out and it didn't come out in the bottom <laughs> oh yeah, anyways, we're going to go over there. I'm on the phone with Mr. Trucker Jukebox. So check him out if you haven't. He's on YouTube as well. And uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Well guys, we have just finished getting unloaded. We're in Morrison, Illinois. It's like 11.45. At 10.30 we rolled her in there. Well, that's not too bad. I've been here where it's been worse than this, you know. I, uh, I've been bugging dispatch to get me a reload and uh, they have given me something to do. They gave me uh, an order to go to Rochelle, Wisconsin. Rochelle or something like that Wisconsin I know exactly where that is I've been there many times before they literally told me to go there empty drop my trailer and start bobtailing my way back towards Illinois they will send me address later they said whatever that means I have no idea where we're gonna be going but that we are done here and we're gonna go over there and drop the empty that's about the only thing I know for sure for now but they could always change their mind right that's right they can always change their mind on what they want me to do but let's go ahead and get out of here Let's get back on to the interstate. We're going to be going up here a couple of streets on the back roads here. And then we'll be on uh, I-88. Take that up to uh, I-39. And that goes straight north. Yeah, that's right. Straight north. We are back in Wisconsin already. Just cruising along. Seems like there's fairly heavy traffic up here today. But better than that, we're just cribbing there. Yeah! We got about 156 miles to go to where we we're supposed to drop our trailer. We have no idea what we're going to do after that, but hey, that's what we got to do first. That I think before I do that, I think I'm going to... Uh, 
stop in Portage, Wisconsin if I make it. Yeah, I, I think I should be going through there. So there's a Petro up there, truck stop. I might go in there and grab me a bite to eat. I'm getting kind of hungry. That's right. Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along and see what the rest of the day will have in stock for us. We are leaving this Petro truck stop up here in uh, well, Portage, in Wisconsin. Feet, turn right on Kenny Road. We had to stop and uh, grab a bite to eat. That's right. So we uh, had ourselves a nice bite to eat uh, in here in uh, Portage, Wisconsin. In 500 feet, turn had my left half on an hour off. 78. That's right. Now we got a hundred miles to go up to our de <laughs> almost said delivery, but delivery of this trailer, I suppose. And then I gotta come right back this way. That's right. Gonna go to Belvere, Belvere, I think they said Illinois grab an empty trailer over there and then I'm supposed to go somewhere else in uh, Illinois I think it was Rockview Illinois or something like that and pick up a load over there do a trailer switch over there and then go back home from there that kind of sucks but I was hoping I could at least go up to Toronto and go home from there you know but that doesn't seem like a possibility, so I guess we'll just have to go home then. And that's all right, we'll go out Saturday then. Uh, looking at it, I could probably be home Thursday afternoon. And then uh, I would have a reset done by Saturday morning. We just go out Saturday morning. No big deal, I suppose. Uh, just the way it's gonna be. I told them I wanted to go east, but I guess they just don't want to give me a long trip like that. Seems like I'm having to fight just to get a nice long trip. Oh well. This load is going to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So I may ask them to uh, deliver that up to Saskatoon, you know. I may just do that. Don't know exactly yet. It'll be Friday. Well, I don't know. I don't know what would be better for me. I really don't. I guess I'll make a decision later on. Maybe I will go, just go home and then take a reset. In the hopes of going out Saturday and get me a nice trip on Saturday. To go somewhere on a bit of a longer trip. Hopefully that will work. That would be nice. Anyways, we're gonna go make our way over to Rochelle. Rochelle. Wisconsin and then uh, we'll drop our trailer and high tail back towards Illinois I don't know if I can make it all the way there and pick up my trailer tonight yet but, or I could probably do it but do I really want to that's the question that's the million dollar question right now I don't really want to work till midnight tonight you know I hate to do that. Anyways, we'll continue on and see what else we will be able to show you guys today. Alrighty guys, we have just finished dropping our empty trailer here in the Rochelle, Wisconsin. Now we're going to hightail out of here. 
The reason why I'm saying that is uh, and then turn left in 700 feet. Construction ahead. Just gotta say goodbye to this guy. All right, he's not even looking. Anyways, as I was gonna say is, I don't know if you can see it out there by the camera looking outwards, but it is actually snowing. It just started snowing about half an hour before I got here, so I'm gonna try and hightail back further south where it's warmer. <laughs> so it shouldn't be snowing down there, at least it wasn't earlier, so. Hopefully that's still the case, you know. Just gonna get out of here. Turn right. Well, construction ahead. All right, construction ahead. All right. Well, I want to go that away, so just stop sign. A couple of four wheelers coming my direction too, so. You gotta wait for them, right? There you go. Now we can get back on the road. So, well, according to my GPS, it says it's uh, 207 miles. I think it said to. Uh, miles. Take the entrance to the left on I-39 South, US 51 South. To where I am supposed to pick up my other empty trailer, and then it's 200. And well, a total of 278 miles from right now where I'm at right now to where I pick up my preloaded trailer, but it's 207 up to where I pick up my empty trailer. So, so we got about 70 miles after I pick up my uh, my empty trailer to where I actually pick up my load, if that makes any sense. Hopefully I haven't confused you too much. <laughs> yeah. Now we got a couple of miles to go and then we'll be back on the interstate and we can go full blast again, so. Got a few lights up here. I think I have shown you guys this place before where I just dropped my trailer. I think uh, months and months ago I was down here. If memory serves me right. That's right. Anyways, we'll, we'll get out of here. And yeah, we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Alrighty guys, we are here in South Beloit, Illinois at the truck stop. We are parked way back there, over there, where you see the sign in the back row. Way over there. I know it's kind of dark over here right now, but... Uh, well, we got here around 9 o'clock and fueled up. And uh, now we went inside and had ourselves a nice shower. And now we're done. <laughs> Just walking back to the truck and... Uh, I guess we'll call it a day. Yeah. There's a bunch of trucks in here as you can see that's right but at least it's not really cold at all out here you know it's actually very nice yeah it's a little cloudy I had a little bit of flurry stare on my way down here but other than that we're doing good feeling much better now after a nice hot shower that's always a good thing but uh, anyways, we'll go walk back to our truck and then we'll see you guys over there. Well guys, that is pretty much it. All that's left pretty much to do is render these videos up and put it on to YouTube. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, we have had ourselves a fantastic day. A lot of empty driving today, but that's good for me, right? As an owner operator, hey, I wouldn't complain. That's right empty miles means good fuel mileage so it means more money in my pocket <laughs> yeah that's right but anyways uh, i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did don't forget to rate it up give me a big thumbs up share the video and if you're new to us hey hit that subscribe button and you'll be emailed when i upload a new video and you get to watch whatever is new so we appreciate you guys watching my channel. So we'll stick around and watch tomorrow again. Because we have some good ones coming up here in the next couple of days. That's for sure. So we'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs>
just behind me. 